Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Not only do we have the new AK players to go over today, but we also do have a new competitive pass to go over. I do want to give a shout out to Julian for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, my NBA picks for today will be up later this afternoon. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZARK to match first deposit up to $100. And I tend to have those NBA picks up around maybe 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time, sometimes sooner. Sometimes a little bit later, probably around then. So as you guys can see, we do have the AK cards in the game now. We also do have an LTD, which is the best running back in the game. Gus Edwards, that card is really, really good. Uh, so Gus Edwards, amazing. And then we have these cards. So we have Daniel Jones. I need to check to see if they changed his release. But if they didn't, his release is just kind of meh. Not really all that crazy, right? But he has 95 speed, uh, 97 throw power, 95 short, 98 medium, and 96 deep accuracy. Also has 98 excel. So very good speed, uh, good accuracies as well. In terms of abilities, though, the issue that I kind of have here with Daniel Jones is you can't actually get at least discounted from what EA tweeted out last night. Fearless, Hara Master, Gunslinger, and like Sefi Lee, you can't get all of those for discounted. And in his ability bucket too, he has Fearless for one AP, and then the rest are pretty much like running ones, you know, fast break, evasive, that type of stuff. So essentially, if you maybe don't run a ton with your quarterback and you kind of just want to run, you know, like like Fearless, Hara Master, Sefi Lee, whatever, you're going to have to miss out on either Sefi Lead, Hot Rod Master, or Gunslinger for discounted ability, so, or discounted AP, which is obviously really, really big when you have cards like Justin Herbert, who can get, you know, the main four stack you want for a total of three AP. But if you like Daniel Jones, you can pick up Daniel Jones. There you go with that card. Uh, we also have Groot. We have Gregor Rousseau, which I believe he actually gets the Unstoppable Force X Factor, which is like the main one you want, right? 94 speed, 96 excel, 98 block shed, 98 power moving, 86 finesse movie, 6 foot 7, 266 pounds, and uh, has 98 hit power. And as I said, getting the Unstoppable Force X Factor, obviously extremely overpowered if you guys have played versus maniac milkman uh d law then yeah you know about that and then we also have david and joku uh six foot four 97 speed 96 excel good route running good catching 72 run block uh 72 run blocking yeah 72 run blocking there 97 juke 94 break tackle uh 97 trucking 95 stiff arm very solid card but i don't think i'll be picking him up obviously because uh we do have Gronkowski in the game right now the new competitive pass actually does not come out until 11 to showcase that luckily for you guys though I was a little bit late today because I had to go ahead and drop off Poodle and Swift so they could get back to uh, their place so let's go ahead we'll get in some packs and then I'll showcase for you guys the LTD Gus Edwards and then we'll also go over the competitive pass now also today guys we usually do get the content schedule so we should get the content schedule revealed today uh, it's usually around like 2 maybe 3 p.m whatever i uh, will likely have a video this afternoon going over the content schedule so be on the lookout for that very curious to see what's on it will we see like the easter promo maybe maybe we'll see the easter promo on there i'm not too sure tomorrow though we should have game changers part two so with game changers part two being tomorrow uh, i do expect to see some reveals tonight more than likely uh so a video tonight going over that also uh we do have you know weekly wild cards on tuesdays as well so we'll likely get a game changers reveal tonight and then also we'll get the weekly wild cards reveal so it could be a pretty nice video tonight be on the lookout for that but let's go ahead and do some training variety packs game changers part one i'm a big fan of i like the players a lot the ryan neal uh is an incredible incredible safety if you guys have not been using that ryan neal card very very good uh, CD Lamb, best slot receiver in the game. And then Justin Herbert is very, very, very nice. Like, honestly, if you, like, don't like left-handed quarterbacks at all, I will admit, I'm not the biggest fan of left-handed quarterbacks. But I have Ken Stabler, which I got for free, uh, which I still think is the best overall quarterback in the game. I would say Ken Stabler is. 
if you like a right-handed quarterback, if you prefer that, Herbert truly might be the best QB in the game because he's right-handed, has, I think, 92 speed, I want to say, and then you'll get his high master, set feet lead, a uh, pass lead elite, and fearless for a total of three AP when you add in that token to him. So very, very good. Very curious to see how EA is going to kind of top that with part two of the Game Changers promo because between CD, Ryan Neal, and uh, Justin Herbert, uh, those cards are all amazing so we're gonna have to get some crazy crazy stuff let's go ahead and do a couple more tvps though and then i'll showcase the prices of these cards up on the auction house and i'll showcase for you guys gus edwards which the card is very good likely i don't know if i'm gonna do a gameplay today or not to be completely honest with you guys but i might so sub to xerxy 2 uh, that is where you guys will see gameplays if you guys really really want to see me do gus edwards gameplay today Maybe I'll do it. I do think he is the new best running back in the game. Well, take a look at the new AK players. Let's see exactly what they're priced at. You guys can see we have David Njoku uh, going for 600K. We have Groot going for 700K. And then Daniel Jones is 764. And the LTD Gus Edwards probably going to be a pretty penny. Uh, he is 1.2 mil. Wow. Okay. So doesn't seem to be a lot of him coming out of packs. I'll tell you that. Only six of him up is very intriguing to me because obviously he's in TVPs. He were opening up training variety packs. I've already seen him being pulled out of there. Uh, he's in regular packs. There's only six up though. Maybe just a lot of people are potentially keeping the card. Uh, 238 pounds, 98 speed, 97 excel, 97 change direction, 97 truck, 98 break tackle, 84 catching, uh, 98 juke move. As 88 short rub running, he gets short and elite for zero AP. He also gets backfield master and another slot for zero AP as well. Uh, he does also get tank for one AP, bruiser for one AP. I mean, the card's insane. Uh, plus, if you have that strategy card, right, that welcome strategy card, it's plus one speed to everybody. We're talking 99 speed Gus Edwards, and he has a freight train X Factor like uh, AJ Dillon and uh, Derrick Henry. I will say this, I don't know exactly which freight train he actually has. Like, is it the one where you have to get tackled behind the line of scrimmage? Or is it the one where it's on for a couple plays and gone? I don't know. But either which way, I still think he is uh, absolutely insane. So Gus Edwards new best running back in the game all right so now the new competitive pass is loaded in the game also i now know actually which one it is on gus edwards and it is the derrick henry one which isn't as good as aj Dillon, but uh it's still very very good pretty much you have freight train for a couple of plays goes away for a couple and then it comes back still i think it's definitely worth the one ap uh and then as you guys can see we do have the new competitive pass normal stuff season xp coins all that but at level 11 okay and you guys can limit it down below what you think about this because it seems like people over on Twitter, more people than normal are saying W to this than L. It is a Compass BND Fantasy Pack. I believe this means any former competitive pass player. So if you guys did not get like Siragusa, uh, any other ones, Nashawn Wright, Nate Davis, any of those guys, I believe they would be in this pack. So if you want them, maybe not that bad. Maybe not that bad. So you let me know, WRL personally, I don't care for it, but is what it is. Uh, and then we also do have the Brock Purdy as well right here, 97 overall Brock Purdy. From what I know, they didn't change his release and uh, his release is decent. In terms of his abilities, I did just look on mud.gg. In one of his ability buckets, he does get Gunslinger for zero. And then you could run like Sefi Lead and Howard Master. You could run that stack on Purdy uh, and you could get that for four AP. So not that crazy his release is not that good either so yeah that's the new competitive pass 92 plus overall legends player as well new competitive pass aka players let me know down below what you guys think about him and let me know if you guys want me to do a gus edwards gameplay but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time if you guys enjoyed this video check out these